welcome, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to create greeting cards. I love greeting cards. Greeting cards can be both physical and digital, and you're in for a special treat because in this video, I'm going to show you not only how to create it, making it a digital greeting card, but also how you can add it to a print-on-demand shop and have them print it and mail it out to your customers as well, right? So stay tuned and be sure to watch to the end. So here I've created a beautiful greeting card inside of canva.com, C-A-N-V-A. And I'm gonna show you how I all created this card, right? So we're gonna start with a blank card and we're going to do it three and a half by four by nine inches because that is the size required for printify.com. However, whatever size you want to be your greeting card, that is the size that you'll do it. A lot of greeting cards are five by seven, but since I'm going to get this ready for my customers and I want to upload it to Printify, I'm going to go by their dimensions. You can also create this card in landscape. If you create a document inside of Canva and you do seven by five, you can also create the greeting card as a horizontal version as well. But today we're going to go over the vertical way on how to create greeting cards. So as you can see, I'm here. Now you'll take your photo, whatever photo it is that you're going to use, and your photos will show up here in uploads. And as you can see, I already have that picture here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this picture that I have and I'm gonna bring it up, right? So I have the picture here and I'm just gonna zoom in. So now that I have my greeting card, I have it censored, I have it wherever I want. I might move it up a, just a little bit just a tad bit. I'm moving it up because I want to get it, you know, kind of in the center of the page. And then I'm going to go over the text. Now I want to type in fancy because I love a fancy script when it comes to uh, anything fancy like Valentine's Day, since we have Valentine's Day as a fancy holiday. And you have all these different scripts here. Like this would be a nice script. This is called shadow script. So you could do that. However, I'm going to do a script called that something script, right? So it's called that something script. And here it is, right? So let me zoom in. And I really love this font here. And I'm going to type sisterhood, right? Because this image is giving me sisterhood vibes. So... I'm going to be able to, let's make sure we spelled that right. Sisterhood, right? And then I'm going to make it bigger, right? I'm going to make it bigger. It's a little zoomed in so you're able to see it. I'm going to zoom out and just see how that looks. Okay. I'm going to center it. And as you can see, the purple line is right down the middle. Move it up just a tad bit. And then I'm going to go into elements. And now I'm going to search for hearts. And you can search for watercolor hearts as this is a watercolor image, but I'm going to search for hearts just to see what hearts they have overall. And I'm going to click see all in graphics. And I'm going to look for a heart that I want to pick, put at the bottom. Let's see what hearts they got. Let me see if I like this heart here. And you can actually change the colors on this heart. I actually like this heart. And you could change the colors, which is so cool. So here at the top, you can actually change the color of the heart. So I'm actually going to do that. So let's make it match the photo. And inside of Canva, they'll give you all the photo colors you have. So I'll make the inside. I actually want to do it a darker red. So I'm going to do it that color red. And let's do the outside. Let's see if we could get like kind of a darker kind of pink and then we'll do the middle uh no let's see if we can find another pink okay so i actually like this so i'm gonna zoom in i'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller and i actually want to make this side by side. I'm going to duplicate this. 
because I want it to be even. And as you can see, it says 0.083. That means that the spacing in between the elements, in this case, the element is the heart and the text where it says sisterhood is even. I like it to be nice and even. And then I'm going to zoom back out and just see how it looks. Okay. And I'm filling that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click shift over all three of these items and I'm going to group it. And now once I group it, I can make it bigger if I want to and I can move it around. Right. So I like that and I'm liking the way it's looking. I'm going to zoom in. I like the way this card looks here. So I'm going to now go over to Printify.com. Printify.com, it's easy to set up. You create an account, you set up an account, and now you're able to integrate this Printify.com into your store, whether you have an Etsy account, a Shopify account, you can integrate it. I'm going to go to catalog here at the top, and I'm going to type in greeting cards. And I'm going to search for greeting cards. And they're going to give me a, wild, a, a, a wide variety of greeting cards. And for this one, I'm going to pick the eco-friendly. Well, actually, I'm going to pick the first one that shows up. It says buy generic brand, eight sizes. And I'm going to click in this. And what I want to show you here is when you go down, you're going to see, right? It tells you the location, who's the actual provider. In this case, it's Taylor. It has 9.0. The pricing, right, $3.96, $3 the shipping, $7.89, all over print area. And it tells you all the things you can do, right? You can buy it in a set of 10, 30, and 50, right? And they all come with envelopes, which is cool. It tells you the quality of the paper, 270 GSM. It tells you everything about the card. And in this case, I told you we're doing a vertical version three and a half by four by nine, but there are also other metrics of how you can size the card four by six, four by two, five, and here are the horizontal metrics. So this is important. So you know how to actually design your card. So when you actually go in 3.5 by four by nine, you're going to go into Canva. And when you click create a design, you'll go to custom size and here you'll change it to inches. And this is where you'll be able to actually change and customize. You do have to have the Canva Pro version to do this, but this is where you would go in to actually do your custom size, right? Three and a half by four by nine inches. And I just simply follow what is listed here in Printify. Sometimes uh, it's not always accurate, but it's pretty close and you can actually play around with it to get it to where you want to go. So now that I'm inside of here, as you can see, they have both the front, which is on the right hand side, and then they have the back of the card. I'm going to go to uploads. And since I've already uploaded, well, actually I didn't because this is a new card. So now what I want to do is I'm going to uh, download page one. of the card and I'm going to download page one. The other page is going to be the back part, right? So here's the back part of the design. And on this page, you'll just keep it simple. You could leave your uh, business information. If you have a social media, you could put at whatever your social media is. I always put like a little slogan or a tagline. In this case, I put made with love, www.greetings.com, which is a made up website. And then it says at the bottom, to my one and only partner in crime. And I'll just zoom in so you all can see, right? And this is where you would just go ahead and put whatever your business information is on the back of the card. And we will upload both of those inside of here. So let me go back to my design space. I'm going to go back to my device and I'm going to go to my images and it's going to add to my library. And I'm going to zoom out some. Now, this is where the fun part is. I'm going to reduce it, right, to make it fit. You just want to make it fit inside of the margins. So it's going to go over a little bit, as you can see, the bleed, which I like for it to go over, meaning the outside of the box, because I want to make sure there's no white space left on my greeting card. And then I'm going to go back to my uploads and I'm going to download the back of the card, which is here. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. And if you're liking what you're, what you're watching, don't forget to subscribe. All right. So I'm going to move this over. All right. And be sure to watch to the end so we can see 
how it came out. And now I'm just positioning this so it can fit inside of the box. And I probably would move this up just a little bit, but it'll still be visible on the card. So I'm fine. And voila, now you have your card uploaded and I'm going to hit preview and you'll be able to go through all the pictures to see the back because you want to make sure that everything is displayed and showed correctly. Right? It shows the open cover. It gives you a lot of nice mock-ups, which is so cool. And I'm going to go ahead and download these mock-ups. So I'm going to download them so you all can see how they look just bigger. And I'll just do these three here. And then I'll do the one that's displayed on the table so we can see them. And then I'm going to go back to my downloads folder. And now we get to look at the greeting cards, right? So here's the front. It looks amazing. I love it. Here's the front of the card. And here is the back of the card, right? So now you have the greeting card, the front and the back. And you also have it with an open view, which is cool. And you also have a mock-up, which is very cool. So I love the way it came out. You also have the preview version here. It looks really good. And then if you like it, you'll save this product. It'll go inside of your account and you can integrate it with your store and ship it off to your customers. And you can also download this in the digital version the same way and give it to your customers digitally as well. You would just click share, download, you would share it as a PNG or a PDF. I would do it as a PDF standard or print. Print and you'll do RGB best for digital use. And that's what you'll do. And you'll basically be able to deliver this greeting card digitally to your customers. And if you like this video, please share, comment, like, and subscribe.